The Gordian Knot by Humongous Quote, The world will not be destroyed by those who do evil, but by those who watch them without doing anything. Unquote. Albert Einstein The solution to every problem you've ever had is simple. Stop believing in authority. You're searching for a panacea, and there it is. Now it's up to you to take it. Believe it or not, that's the hard part. Folks beg for a cure-all, but when provided one with proof it works, they develop intense love for the disease. Since the illness is all they've known, a cure sounds horrifying. Authority is terrible, but authority only works if somebody, or in this case, almost everybody, believes in it. Government can make its quote-unquote laws, but these quote-unquote laws have no effect if people refuse to adhere to them. The quote-unquote laws of ancient Rome are still in place, but since nobody abides by them anymore, we no longer allow them to alter our course. As Jiddu Krishnamurti explained, in terms of our species problems, what we're experiencing is a quote-unquote crisis in consciousness. We hold our destinies in our own hands. If we stop believing in authority, it no longer affects us, since it's solely an ideology within our minds and therefore doesn't even exist. Those claiming to be authority will lie to you. The quote-unquote conundrums we face are so complex, they're insurmountable, such as faults. Of course these scumbags adopt this modus operandi. If you realize the eradication of authority is the solution to your suffering, you dethrone it. As a result, those in quote-unquote power, existing lavishly at your expense, are reduced to the common populace. Exposed as the evildoers they are, they're thrown among the vulgus they've been abusing for so long. It's the prison warden who's been ordering his inmates beaten every night. Once this superintendent is found guilty of something, and tossed into the prison itself, how do you think inmates will treat their new fellow incarcerate? Do you believe this is a path those in authority want to take? The quote-unquote dilemmas we face are a Gordian knot. A what? I can delve into the Alexander the Great explanation, but that would be more painful than the anguish felt by Oprah when wigs are deemed illegal. Hence, let's just go with the simple definition. A Gordian knot is a complex entanglement. When given a coil so intricate, it appears impossible to unscramble. You don't waste time, quote-unquote, attempting to solve the problem, like authority wants you to. You actually solve the problem by removing the knot, which, in this case, is authority. Instead of fruitlessly trying to unravel the quagmire in question, simply cut it from the rope, tie the two pieces together, and move on. Your quote-unquote problems have been created by those we've allowed to mislead us. Politicians, priests, pedagogues, etc., etc., etc. These assholes don't want you disentangling the quote-unquote dilemmas they've developed for you. Hence, they enmesh them in a snarl so perplexing you'll give up trying to quote-unquote solve it before you start. Why futilely attempt to untangle the knot when you can simply eradicate it by eliminating it. To paraphrase Henry David Thoreau, thousands will hack at the leaves of evil to the one who rips the root out of the ground, burns it to ashes, and buries it in a cement block at the bottom of the ocean. Authority has created our quote-unquote complications. Our belief in authority perpetuates these quote-unquote problems. Stop giving authority legitimacy and these quote-unquote conundrums disappear. How can we possibly feed every person on the planet? We've far more than enough sustenance for everyone on Earth to eat sufficiently. The only reason people are starving is because they don't have the money with which to pay for this abundant nourishment. If you don't conclude we need to eradicate money in order to feed everyone, you are unable to perform math as simple as 2 minus 1 equals 1. If such is the case, you're either too retarded to read this sentence, or your goal is something other than expunging human hunger.
So which is it? How will we ever pay off the astronomic national debt? You mean the quote-unquote debt that doesn't exist? A quote-unquote debt authority, which lies to you about everything else, tells you is real? A bunch of inherently useless pieces of paper, known as cash, you can't drink, eat, nor inhale? Don't think outside the box, since this banal phrase was created by those who want you to conform. Think logically. Give the quote-unquote debtors all the cash on the planet, and end the monetary system immediately afterwards. Those you claim are hunting for money just got all of it. We just got rid of you, the liars attempting to brainwash us, there's a quote-unquote debt in the first place, and now we're free. The egg of Columbus is an example of thinking logically. You've got a hard-boiled egg in its shell. You're tasked with balancing it on its tip without employing other implements. Most will mentally abuse themselves to solve the problem. All one need do is tap the egg on its most conical curve until the shell cracks to the point its intact portion becomes a sufficient base. At that juncture, simply place the egg on this ad hoc foundation. Again, these quote-unquote challenges we're incurring are quote-unquote problems we're now perpetuating ourselves. The answer to these quote-unquote dilemmas is not only simple, but ours to take.